Yeah, my name is Hisanoi Hasegawa. I was born in Japan and came to this country when I was 23 years old. After I was kicked out from the Japanese medical school because of the Sabbath problem. I became Seventh Adventist when I was 18 and I started uh, Saturday off every week, including that the day of uh, lectures and exams. So therefore, I was not able to take the credit and not able to pro uh, progress from one year to the other. So uh, I made a decision to withdraw myself uh, against the uh, uh, will of my family and some of the church pastors. Uh, so I had a very little support at that time. Then I moved to the United States to start all over again in medical school without knowing much English. Uh, so it was a very difficult time uh, while I was there, but I was somehow able to uh, passing the exams and then uh, going to graduate uh, four or five years later. And just before I graduated Loma Linda, I took my wife, I married uh, one year before, one or two years before the graduation. I took her uh, when I went back to Japan to visit the medical school which I attended before and this is a place I have a hard time and have a uh, lots of uh, battle over there and then I went to that uh, uh, unit medical college and I met several professors who I met before they welcomed me very well and one of the uh, professor who negotiated with me extensively about the Sabbath issue told me the interesting story. Now, Hasegawa, you can come back to our medical school in Yamagata because something has changed significantly. What was that? He said, after I left Yamagata University, he started thinking over and over again about the Saturday off system. He started to realize that if I made the Saturday off in the medical school, it would be much easier in operation and administration of a medical school and entire system. So guess what he did? He negotiated painstaking manner in Japanese government health bureau to make his medical school the first medical school which is Saturday off. What's the consequence? Immediately after that, the operation of a medical school and hospital became very efficient and very smooth and students likes, liked the new system. And what happened was, two or three years later, the Yamagata University of School of Medicine has the highest passing rate of a Japanese medical board in Japan. So, therefore, Hasegawa, you can come back anytime. But it was already, I studied so much in English and medical things in Loma Linda, so I was almost going to graduate. So how come I went back <laughs> immediately to Japan? So please wait until I finish the medical school in United States. It is interesting that the medical school was blessed according with the prophecy of Isaiah. If you follow my Sabbath, you will be blessed and you can pass over the highest point on the ground. That happened to the non-Christian pagan medical school. Instead of church, the story didn't end then. Recently, I was invited to one of the Nuaraji conference as a guest speaker. And I found that many young researchers and young physicians took granted that 
Saturday and Sunday should be off in medical school. But I asked them, when did it happen? They said, well, sometime around that 1985 or 86. That was a time after, a couple of years after, that Yamagata University made the first medical school, which is Saturday off. Then I found that the rest of the other national Japanese medical school found that the Yamagata University doing well after the system change. Why don't we do that? And many other national medical schools follow the same direction. And all of the national medical school in Japan became Saturday off. And after that, all of the private medical school in Japan look at that and, well, why don't we do that too? And make the Saturday off. Now, entire Japanese medical school became Saturday off. I did not observe the Sabbath to make that Japanese medical school uh, follow the Sabbath. But that was the consequence if you stay and follow the God's commandment. Also, I had to leave earlier to come to the United States. Now I am a board certified neurologist and epileptologist. And I start working for other uh, medical school uh, as a, uh, associate professor. Well, I did not uh, come to the church according to my will. I was uh, a, junior high, a junior high school student. Mm -hmm. When my friend asked me to come with him, because he was so timid and uh, he was chicken. So please come with me for the Adventist, Seventh Adventist Church. Mm. Oh my goodness, what a, what a, <laughs> are you chicken or something? So, but okay, sure, I can come with you. So I went to the church. Mm -hmm. That was the first time. That first time I went there was, there was no special meeting, no evangelical uh, meeting or anything, just a routine, mm -hmm. one of these routine. Bible study. Mm -hmm. But the first Bible study I attended ever in my life was the Bible study of Revelation and Daniel. So they, the pastor taught me what Daniel wrote. So I read it, I look at it, and there was the a prophecy of the old kingdom comes and goes, starting from the uh, Babylonian uh, dynasty. Wow. So even before this uh, kingdom occurred, already the Bible tells us so. so. So I start thinking that if that this description and the Bible prophecy is right, I can't argue. Everything according with that uh, world history study in the junior high school history class. So why don't I study this, Daniel and Revelation, so that I can get better score in the examination. That was the beginning. Well, uh, in Japan, only 1% of the entire population are Christian. And Seventh Adventist is only 1 ppm or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 1 per million. Wow. Yeah. So I had, uh, first of all, there was no known other people who know about the Christian mm -hmm. uh, doctrine. I start uh, have a Bible study, uh, voice of prophecy things, and I learned well that everything sounds good, but it sounds too good. So I start wondering that am I deceived? So to make sure that I'm not deceived, I went other denominations, mm -hmm. Baptist, Methodist, Jehovah's Witness, and keep asking questions that what do you think about this? But they said, oh, that's, that's, a bo uh, that's a stupid, that's a heresy. So, but now I just uh, get, get the information. And uh, finally, I concluded that Seventh Adventist is most likely the most fa faithful Bible believer. Then I decided to make a baptism at age 18. I was in a medical school for three years. And the first two years is equivalent to undergraduate. Or in Japan, and the medical school system is six years. Wow. In the United States, you have to finish the four years of undergraduate to go to the four years of a medical 
education. But in Japan, the undergraduate is shorten, only two years. So during that time, I had uh, some degree of freedom to equivocate the Sabbath attendance. But in the medical school, the attendance is more strict, so I could not hide myself. Mm. So the first then, couple of years you were skipping out on the skipping, classes on uh, Sabbath, right. yeah, and, still, then, and still making it through and, and yeah. doing just fine? Uh, in order to take that uh, English class, I just uh, switch over to some other English class or some other foreign language classes. <laughs> and so I somehow able to escape. Okay. But uh, I could not do that anymore in that uh, medical uh, uh, med medical year. Sorry. Within yeah, within a couple of months, I was kept summoned from the uh, the administration for the student student teams. Yeah. And then I was uh, almost every other day I was uh, toasted in the dean's office. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's a good question. When I made a decision, there is no plan available to go to uh, some other country or go to Loma Linda. Mm. But for some reason, I had a faith. I could finish medical education any place by God. And then after I withdraw from the medical school by myself, that at that time, the, uh, the Japan Union Mission treasurer uh, Mr. Frost gave me the offer that we can uh, bar, uh, we can lend the money without interest. So I accepted. Mm -hmm. So I accept the challenge and start English from the beginning. So when I came to the medical school in in Loma Linda, I thought my IQ suddenly dropped down by 50, <laughs> 50 points. Apparently that the Japanese medical system, the undergraduate is shortened for two years. Mm -hmm. So I was told that uh, you have to take extra credit before you apply Loma Linda. Okay. So I had to go to PUC where I took the rest of the other <laughs> study. Yeah. Yeah. And so then, you finished your undergraduate degree at, at right, PUC right. and transferred. So I had to take physical education. And I wish I could take a, uh, the Western European history, but I had to take U.S. history, okay. which I didn't. I have no idea what <laughs> was going on. I did not speak much English when I came here. Lots of stress, humiliation, harassment makes the English better. I did not expect that to happen to start with. I was surprised, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the uh, the obviously these people and. The newly trained physicians, medical students, are blessed by that. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, this may, this may be the uh, testimony uh, to the people who have not known about uh, Seventh Day Sabbath, not only in Japan but also to the people in the United States. This may be refreshing uh, testimony for those people who already observed. Sabbath and see how powerful the implication will be. I appreciate the time to explain my background and situation.